Hey everybody, Dr. Sean here with another video. This time we're gonna educate you about carbohydrates and their potential impact on you if you have a suboptimal microbiome. So how do you know if carbohydrates are gonna to contribute to either um, uh, causing you fat in the wrong area or used for energy? So we're gonna get into that. So let's uh, get started with some pictures, okay? Uh, here is a client who came to see me, this is day one. They have a lot of adiposity, a lot of fat. That's a medical term for fat, is adiposity. And in three months, utilizing our protocol uh, to eliminate visceral fat, look how much they reduced that in just three months. Now we're gonna be looking at this angle right here, okay? It's the uh, sagittal abdominal diameter, which shrunk considerably in this particular client. So I'm gonna outline it with this purple line. So one of the things you should pick up on is look at the arc and then look how flat that got. So flat is good, arc here is bad. So let's take a look at how that corresponds to visceral fat, okay? So let's take a look on the inside. Haven't seen the outside, let's take a look at the inside. So here they are um, uh, on the original scan filled with white stuff. So MRIs, Fat shows up as white, muscles and organs show up as dark. You want to be more dark and less white. He is mostly white and a little, and just very little dark. But look what happens. Three months on our protocols, um, he has reduced his visceral fat considerably, and look how flat his abdomen has gotten there. So corresponding to visceral fat is how much your, your stomach sticks out, and uh, you can see that in that particular image there. So let's take a look at a, um, another client who came originally. Um, this was him on day number one. And five months later, his abdomen looks a lot better. So dad bod, flat abdomen. Let's take a look at his scans corresponding to there. So what we see again is this arc. Do you see that arc right here? And look how that arc is flatter. So. Actually, when you wear pants, you can, it kind of tells, tells the story about how far your abdomen is sticking out, your sagittal abdominal diameter. So lots of visceral fat pushing it out, okay? This is the back, that's the belly button, these are the sides. So um, you can see that his abdomen is pushing out this direction, and, and this photograph, he's flatter, and his MRI is flatter because he has less white. Um, in between those those uh, those scans. So here's the other interesting thing. So we call those key biological ind indicators visceral fat. How much visceral fat you have is a key biological indicator, how you're doing in health, but there's also key biological performance indicators. So as you accumulate visceral fat, your performance degrades. So if you want to improve your performance, increase um, you increase your performance, you want to decrease your visceral fat. So let's take a look at, this is what I figured out, Dr. Uh, Dr. Sean. I spent a lot of time thinking about these things, okay? So I lay in bed, I'm the guy who's trying to figure out how we optimize human beings. So I figured out this angle here. When clients come and run, depending on how much visceral fat they have, this angle is very different. Um, this is my own sprint, and you can see that that angle, the acuity of that angle is drastically different than it is, he is here. And the reason is it always corresponds to visceral fat. It's fascinating. So we've been, this is the kind of analysis, and you come and work with me as a client. I do, uh, depending on the package or certain packages, I do a lot of photography and videography, analyzing um, key biological indicators and key biological performance indicators. So this is one of my KBI that I do. And uh, let's take a look at how you reverse that, okay? So how do you reverse that visceral fat? Uh, you've seen my uh, strategies here. These are just seven of 47. <laughs> so if you want the other 40, you come work with me. But these are what I'm giving away right now to get started on. Uh, you can take a, a screenshot of that and uh, share this video. If you know somebody uh, who is consuming a lot of carbohydrates and they maybe they're getting it in, in a variety of different ways, could be uh, dairy. I did a recent reel, uh, a video on dairy. It could be 
um, what what's happened to several people recently have emailed me that uh, contacted me that they tried fruit and honey and uh, quite a few people doing good. Yeah, probably their microbiome, typically young, never obese, never metabolically dysfunctional. Uh, people a little bit older, had some periods of obesity, microbiome, suboptimal and metabolic dysfunction uh, at some point in their life. I don't think they should be trying out fruit and honey, not until they change those things. And uh, yeah, quite a few people send me uh, messages that they gain weight, fell apart when they started with fruit and honey. So be very careful and watch. I now gave you those things, what to watch for. So you can check to see protrusion of your abdomen, that arc, take photographs and analyze that. And uh, I'll do some more of these videos to educate that, keep hitting it home. But in the meantime, if you are somebody that uh, got started on fruit and honey or some other carbohydrate and you're falling apart, get started on these strategies and uh, share this with somebody else if you know, know that they maybe started on fruit and honey and uh, they too are gaining weight or gaining girth in their, um, their abdomen. Uh, you can, you can uh, share these strategies with them to help them out. Uh, as always, if you like this video, give it a like. And uh, again, I love comments and questions and uh, um, observations. So feel free to uh, please comment on my videos and uh, forward this to other people. Subscribe to this if you like this content and hit the alert button so you can get my up to dates on, on, uh, on my videos. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you on another